Oh hi guys, Guy Christian 9 here with Let's Play Star Wars That's the Old Republic. In the last fairly long episode too, we got through the Sith base, we um, got out of a trial, and we found that Sunray, well, he won't confess. So in this episode, we're gonna finally settle this whole trial thing, and uh, hello sign. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna get this massive site was finally done with. Right, so you are the arbiter in the Sunry Alasamura case then. I hope you are impartial as the office is traditionally supposed to be. Your off-worlders have a tendency to ignore the rule of law in favor of some rather irrational causes. This is kind of difficult. Alright, we want to start this baby up. Well, I don't know why we ask, We can ask everyone about the star map. Are you certain human? Once the trial has begun, it cannot be stopped. And once judgment is given, the case can never be reopened. So that's kind of an interesting thing right there. You must be certain your investigations are complete before you request a trial. This is the role of the Arbiter. Are you certain you wish to begin the trial now? Yes, that's, are you dead, Flipperhead? <laughs> yes, we can start. And hopefully, hopefully I can get to the meat of this planet soon. I imagine this will be probably the last episode that we do side quests until we're done with the main quest. Anyways, presenting our judges, Shellcar. I'm ahead of them, aren't I? Hey, talk too long. Shahosa, Nelshikon, Kota, and Dula. I like Dula. He's my friend. <laughs> Uh, the term culpability of Sunry and the death of the Sith Elasa. Also, I noticed that they were... Wasn't was it Sunry against the City Council instead of the Sith Empire? That's kind of weird. Alright, so we can go ahead and right away confess them right here. It's considered a dark side thing, though. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the harder route. I'm going to prove him innocent. That remains to be seen. Or whatever, whoever your name is that isn't now Shikan. <laughs> Is it Jehosa? Jehosa? It is an honor to see justice Je served. And Je I will see Sunri is executed for the crime he has committed. Do not be too overzealous in pressing your commission to set a sit. Alright. The first business, a matter of business, is the presentation of a sworn testimony by the proprietor Ingus of the hotel where the murder occurred. So this only pops up if you manage to persuade him to basically say stuff. The man I saw leaving, Sunri, left before I heard the blaster shot. Impossible! Oh, you're pretty Alright, this is serious evidence indeed. The girl will keep this in mind near the top of the list of pertinent facts. So if you're trying to prove him innocent, that definitely does help you out, but there's a lot of other things you have to do and not do. There's really a lot of, uh, things- Oh, let me talk about this stuff. After you examine each witness and cross-examine them, you may ask the presiding judges for their opinions in the state of the case. This special privilege is given by Manon only to the defendant, so use it wisely. So basically, every time you've gone through a, a, a testimony of some person, you can see how the judges are leaning, and see how your progress is. And of course, we're going to start with fear because we, um, you are fear if managed to get some information well out of them. Player. I wonder if we can trust the word of a, a gambler as reliable testimony. Objection, your honors! <laughs> Objection sustained. Have <laughs> some witness your questions didn't do it properly. <laughs> of course, <laughs> your honor. Fear if you want to see a... What did you see the night of the Text? Monday? Well, what was I that? came out into the hallway <laughs> after hearing the blaster shot and saw Sunry over there. But yeah, you want to see the objection, the otherwise they don't take fear of seriously. A very obvious point, Your Honor. There's a lot of the accused. There's a lot. Of, I'm sorry, I'm talking over the guy, the but there's a lot of very. You had to tiptoe your way through this and had to say specific things and leave specific things out because anything you say will. Sway these guys. But anyways, when it comes to fear, we want to ask two questions. First, uh, the one we found out from him. Yes, from what I could tell, she carried a lightsaber under that cloak of hers. Objection! That doesn't prove she was a Jedi. No, this piece of evidence is very important. It establishes the character of Elasa and perhaps her intent in dealing with Sunry. And now, a question that you're pretty much going to be asking everyone. 
Like, these two, they don't matter at all. This one does. Did you actually see the murder? You mean, actually see him kill her with my own eyes? Well, no. But I don't think there could have been anyone else there. Your point is well taken, Arbiter. Any additional questions? Alright, we're good for now with Feareth. Eh, so at that point, we can poll the judges. I guess I'll go ahead and show it off. I don't think it's going to really matter right now. Yeah, I think at this point, like, the trial's just started. We do have, um, you know, the Ingus guy, but it looks like these guys can't really say, say I'm confident it will be proven. Dulles, come on, you're supposed to be my friend. Alright, since the defense is no further questions, we'll call out the second witness, the Rhodian Glupor. That seems kind of rude to name him. I mean, why didn't we call the human Fureth? Come on now. The you were still cast. Come on. Jokes are days. Leaving room, didn't you? <laughs> yes, Glupor sees Sunry running down hallway when Glupor looks in room. Sith woman dead on floor. I like how he says Glupor too. <laughs> this is clear then. That Sunri left the room with the Sith Elasa already dead behind him. Perhaps Sith, perhaps. It is the turn of the defense to question the witness now. Now, obviously, we want to. You, you basically want to uh, focus on what you found out from the people. Let's see. Did you plant the metal on Elasa? Glupor, Glupor. Don't do it, Glupor. The prosecution will be silent. What is it you wish to say, Glupor? Glupor, Glupor paid by to Sith to plant that metal. Lies! Slander! I object! Are you certain of this, Glupor? Glupor certain. Okay, Gunky, I assume is certain, so. Glupor, Gunky. This evidence was the entire case of the new light. And of course, we need to ask him the same thing we asked Fureth. Did you see Sunri actually kill her? Glooper Glooper not see Sunri really hurt Sith, but Glooper did see Sunri leaving room with did Seth and Sith in it. Did Seth. <laughs> okay, but Glooper not really see him kill Sith. Important distinction, I'm sure. Alright, they might be swayed at this point, but we're these two again. Never ask those two questions, they're really pointless. Alright. Yeah, so obviously they're starting to get convinced by us. Yeah, Sony was not the killer. Sony did not have the capability to commit these murders. I think. See, they're still kind of on the fence, but they're definitely leaning towards Sony being innocent now. Perhaps I was wrong after all in my thoughts about Sony. Yay, Dolores! <laughs> the defense has no more questions. The court will call it Elora, Sony's wife. I tried this a runaway guy joke I can make there, but you, Elora, are Sunri's lawful wife. Your husband was a hero in the last war between the Sith Empire and the Republic. He was crippled in that war. Do you not believe he'd blame the Sith for his injury? Yes, I guess he would. And there you have motive. This guy likes Sunri to make conclusions. on the Sith for what they did to him and killed Elasa. A supposition for now, Prosecutor. Does the defense have any questions for the witness? I mean, that's pretty much it. Whenever you find out from each of these characters, you have to ask them about that. So we need to ask about the affair, unfortunately. Yes. Yes, it was true. He was having an affair with that Sith harlot. It seems painfully obvious that he killed her to keep her quiet about the affair. Be silent! You have already questioned the witness, Prosecutor. He'd been seeing her for some time, I think. But he said he was going to change. He'd gone there that night to end it. We talked the night before and he'd promised. But now things have become so very complicated. This is very enlightening evidence. It will influence our deliberation considerably. Now, you might not think otherwise, but that's actually a good thing that we were supposed to say. Uh, we're done with her. Uh, I'm gonna skip forward. We don't really need. Prosecution, any remaining witnesses to call forth? I wish to call forth Sunri himself, your honors. Very well. He's moving rather than normally for a cripple. Are you a war hero, Mr. Sunri? You fought in wars against the Sith Empire, correct? Yes, that's right. And I don't regret it either. 
The Republic needs its heroes. Indeed. Would you say that you dislike the Sith? Even hate them? Of course I hate them! Trying to take over the galaxy every chance they get, killing millions of innocents? Pure politics. Were you in Alassa's room on the night of the murder? Well, yes, I, I was. I had been having an affair with Alassa and my wife, yes. But I realized how wrong I'd been, and I was going there to end it. You were having an affair with a Sith. You wanted to end it quickly and quietly, so you killed her from behind and tried to flee. No, I... I think we can see the answer clear enough, Mr. Sunry. Do not interrupt the exchange. Yay, Dulles! <laughs> or do last. I keep saying Dulles. Stupid fudging in DC. Alright, do you have anything to ask you cues? I'm sure. So, we want to start with... With the said object about you ending the affair. Yes, I think they would. They wouldn't want to lose one of their sources, even though I didn't give them anything. They... They might have killed her for her failure. Or they might have thought she'd turn against them or something like that. The Sith Empire is not the barbaric institution you portray it to be. The silent prosecutor, this is a valid point that lends some credence to your defense arbiter. Right, anything else we want to ask the accused? Honestly, you could ask- uh, no, actually it's a bad idea to ask these two, because they will actually end up getting him to say something that would actually worsen his, uh, thing. So, do you want to limit it to just that supposition that we just made? And if I've done everything correctly, then this should be a slam dunk. <laughs> I think the facts in this case are very straightforward. Sunry. But yeah, this is going to be a very tricky thing. It's very easy for you to shoot yourself in the foot in this one. Even if you've done everything right, as far as like collecting evidence and stuff. Also, they put the ahem in the wrong light, too. the murder as well. I am confident that any informed observation of the facts will lead the judges, your honors, to this very conclusion. Indeed, and your closing statements, Arbiter? Alright, so we actually have to focus on some things here, too. First off, we want to say that, well, nobody ever witnessed the murder. True. Oh, that doesn't mean a thing. He was there, running from the room. Hey, this is my closing thing. If you speak out and turn again, you'll be forcibly ejected from the court. The Arbiter speaks a valid fact. Thank you. <laughs> sort of the point you would like to make. Well... See, I guess this is it. That's what the guide says. They're obviously evil. The arbiter is allowed an opinion as well as you. Yeah, suck it. <laughs> no matter how erroneous or truthful. <laughs> All right, anything else really doesn't help him. So we're done. I know that's really it. No one saw the murder. Sith are evil. Give me my prize. <laughs> The court hereby uh, finds Sunri innocent of the murder of the Sith Alasa. Woohoo! The justice system fails again! <laughs> Silence. Ooh, ooh, arrest him now! <laughs> the verdict is delivered to trial is over. Sunri! I'm so glad! Elora! We have done all we could for you, old friend. Thank you for saving me. I don't know how I can repay you. Elora and I are going to leave here and get as far away from all this as soon as we can. I and the Republic will not forget what you've done for us. Thank you. Man, whoever coded this whole thing really kind of fell asleep at the computer, I think. Or maybe he had too little coffee. Anyways, that's it. We are finally done with the biggest subquest in this entire planet. We convinced Sunri is innocent of his crime and they're get a GTFOing. And I'm gonna end off the video here. It's a good enough point and we're almost at 15 minutes. So anyways, next episode, we're gonna finally go after the Mission Republic and the star map. We're gonna finally get back on the main thing after spending a video and a half off of it. Well, it doesn't sound like much, but I mean, still. I bet you guys have finally decided to see, like, you know, no more really side questing and stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm in the west. Alright, so I have to do a bit of walking. Yeah, I I'm tempted to... 
No, I'm just going to end it off here. I don't want to really go all the way back. So this is Guy Christian 9. This is KOTOR. Next episode, we're going to be continuing along the main plot of Manon. See you then.